Security is nothing new in Tampa Bay. Over 1 million people in the Bay Area don't know where their next meal is coming from. And record high inflation is only making matters worse for local families. ABC Action News in-depth reporter Mason Morrow is taking a closer look at how hungry families and helpful food banks are now trying to get by. All right, so that's about 65 to 70 in line up right now. One after another, line the street next to Village Presbyterian Church in North Tampa to grab a month's worth of nutritious meals in a time of need. I am very indeed blessed to be able to have a place like this to come to. Just make some different items, please. A cake and a bag of rolls. The kids like waffles? Monica Wilson orchestrates an assembly line operation every Sunday and Wednesday at the community food pantry. A more meticulous approach now since the number of families the pantry serves Guys have two families here. ballooned from 50 to 2,000. We're serving three to four times the amount of people. Now, when you think about what's happening with inflation, that has hit our families much, much harder. Tampa Bay outpaces the entire United States in inflation. The Bay Area is in the midst of an inflation rate more than 10%, a high not seen in 40 years. It usually just spikes. It's not like a continued month after month after month of, you know, seven, eight percent. That, that's that's unusual. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, overall inflation in the Bay Area hit eight percent in November, and it's climbed its way up ever since. Mike Snipes, a professor of economics at the University of South Florida, says it's due to increasing demand in the face of unstable national markets. Part of the reason why we might be seeing these the kind of these disproportionate increases in food could be that you know, we're, we're still in a state of uncertainty. The Consumer Price Index for March shows food rose nearly 9% in price from March 2021, and groceries hit a 10% hike. Families that were kind of just getting back on their feet are now back on their heels. Thomas Mance is here to help Bay Area families regain their footing, a vow he took nine years ago as the leader for Feeding Tampa Bay, but the mission to end hunger only grows more challenging by the day. You know someone who is food insecure today in your life. You just don't happen to know that they are. Man says one out of every six people in Tampa Bay are starving. And his team's goal to shrink that number is stifled by inflation. It's not only what happens inside the homes of those we support, but for organizations like Feeding Tampa Bay, our ability to do as much as we want to do, it's more difficult when we have higher operating expenses. Feeding Tampa Bay drives nearly 70 delivery trucks in 10 Florida counties every day. With the cost of diesel on the rise in recent months, man says the price of fuel and food is adding up. The cost of doing business for us has risen dramatically. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Keep the smile. I love it. But Mance remains positive and relies on the help of partners around Tampa. Thank you. I'm going to allow you guys to just kind of really try to gauge what's going on at your, each of your yeah, stations. Two extra long breaths. It's conversation after conversation that we have with real people who are in our community that are working and trying to make it and they just can't make ends meet. You never going to think that you're going to be in that position, but just to know that there's great people that, that will help you. It's, it's amazing. A line Veronica Rodriguez thought she'd never find herself in. But one, the 35-year working mother is now thankful to be a part of. When I get better in a situation, I want to be the one helping too, you know. I want to be here helping, you know, like everybody else does. And it, it means so much. In North Tampa, I'm in-depth reporter Mason Morrow. Bueno, muchas gracias. Ten buen día, señora. ABC Action News. And Feeding Tampa Bay says they need more than 4,000 volunteers each month to serve our community. For more information on how you can help, just go to abcactionnews.com.